Okay, so quick review. The sum of the interior angles of a polygon with three sides, that's a triangle, of course, is 180 degrees, any triangle. Any quadrilateral with four sides, that's 360 degrees. Um, any pentagon with five sides, it's 540 degrees. And a hexagon is 720 degrees. Remember, if n is the number of sides, the sum of the interior angles, you do n minus 2, that's how many like triangles you can form at it, and then times 180 degrees. So basically, you know, if you wanted to go through the formulaic version of this, it'd be like 5 minus 2 is 3, and then 3 times 180 is 540. Now, to help out with what we're doing here, we're going to review some angle relationships, and yeah, this will help with the angle chase that you guys have to do. So... Um, no matter what, these two relationships are true. Linear pairs are supplementary and vertical angles are congruent. And for an example of linear pairs, remember, they're next to each other. They form a line. So there we are. There's two linear pair angles that are supplementary to each other. And for vertical angles, they're formed by intersecting lines and then the angles that are non-adjacent. The angles kind of opposite each other. Now... With these relationships down here, these are only true if the lines are parallel to one another. So that's crucial. These only exist, these relationships here, if lines are parallel. Now, let's put the relationships in. So the alternate interior angles, which look like this. So one on the left, one on the right. And uh, inside the two parallel lines, those are always congruent as long as the lines are parallel. Alternate exterior angles, same idea, one on left, one on right, but outside the parallel lines. Those are also congruent when you have parallel lines. Same side interior angles, same side are supplementary. Same side, supplementary. And those just add up to 180. They're both on the left or both on the right. And corresponding angles are always congruent to each other when you have parallel lines. And corresponding angles, the best way to look at it is if you, like, look at the intersection, the angle I marked is in, like, the top right. If you think of, like, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. The one that corresponds to it is down at the other intersection, also in the top right. 